This is a review of the Astralux FTO3. Um, so this light's been out for, for quite a while now. Um, I've had this one three, maybe four months, um, and I thought it was time to, to do a bit of a review on it. So it's, it's quite a large light, um, certainly not an EDC light, and large coat pocket. Um, we've, got, we've got a big, big reflector on here. Um, in this modern day and age, this is about as big uh, a flashlight as I would really like to buy or carry, um, unless it's for some sort of specialist purpose. Um, but you know, this one will just fit in a coat pocket, um, else, it's got to go in a bag or you know, keep it in the car or something. Um, so, it runs on a 26650, but you can also run it on a 21700 or with an adapter, even an 18650. Um, although, I wouldn't recommend the latter in, unless you have to. It's an electronic side switch. Um, but the tail cap does unscrew to create a physical lockout and there is an electronic lockout as well. It's available with two different LEDs. You can get an SST40, um, which will offer slightly lower lumens, um, but slightly more throw. Um, and this one here, which is the XHP50.2. Um, I think this one's 5700 Kelvin. Sorry, the light on the camera there is uh, reflecting a bit, but... Um, you can see it's a relatively big LED, um, which is more known for its sort of high output and flooding ability. Um, but because we've got quite a large reflector here, um, I think you'll be surprised at just how much beam distance this one has. So I've been called out before uh, on the forums claiming that this is not a throwy light. Well, I'm kind of here to challenge that assumption a little bit tonight. Um, I'm not saying it's a dedicated thrower, but... This LED and reflector combination do give you a light that's got very good beam distance, aka it throws light a long way. So I do think it makes a pretty good multi-purpose thrower of a light. Um, so we'll, we'll test that theory out uh, once we fire it up. Um, we've got Narsil um, as the, uh, the driver system on this one, but we can get it into moonlight. We've got ramping and we've got turbo. Um, it does other things, if you're interested in this UI, uh, Google it, there's, there's lots of information. Um, we've got a USB charging port on here, which is becoming quite the norm. Wasn't really a big fan of them at first, but I'm, I'm perhaps beginning to see they are more useful these days. Um, so yeah, we'll give this one a go. Um, just to sort of counter the, uh, or support the, the throwy opinion of it, I've bought a uh, a light out to compare it to. Now, this is an old mag light D3. Um, it's not a regular mag light, and um, we've got a little LED drop in there, just a cheapy sort of ten pound job. It's got an XPG2, um, but you know it's not bad. Um, I've rated this at home at about sixteen thousand CD uh, and about two hundred and fifty lumens. So definitely a big step up from a, a standard 3D mag light, um, but. The thing of note here, this has got what I think most people would call a traditional throwy beam, but actually, due to its limited output, it's not actually going to throw the, <laughs> it's not actually going to light up much that far away um, when we compare it to the to the Astralux. All right, so remember, this is a review of the Astralux FTO3, not of the mag light. But the mag here is just to serve a purpose. Now, this is a good mag light. It's very, very usable. Um, 250 lumens doesn't sound a lot, but it's more than enough to go for a walk with. So let's just fire this up. And I'll stop waving it about so we can get the camera to focus. So you can see we've got a very, very big spill beam and quite an intense hotspot. Now, this is what I think many people would associate mag lights with. You've got that big smooth reflector on there and you can see we can we can project the light quite far down the way and we've got a little tree there and directly above that we've got another tree which i can just about see with the naked eye i can't see it on the camera but that's about 200 yards away but you know definitely the profile of this light and this beam is very much a thrower i just put the camera right over the top of it you can see you know we've got quite a good concentrated intense hotspot but let's see what this astrolux does so 
So do a long press um, and it will ramp up. And you can see we've got quite a lot of light there. Now you can see we've got quite a big spill beam again and we've got a reasonably intense hot spot. Um, but the spill beam is a lot brighter and the hot spot is a lot bigger. We do get a little bit of a corona around the outside of it, which sadly these Cree LEDs are, are renowned for. Um, I would say the camera shows it up worse. With the naked eye, I can't really see that that much um, unless I point it at a white wall. But on the camera, it does look a lot worse than it really is. Um, but what we'll do is we'll, we'll ramp this thing up to its highest brightness on its normal setting. It's like, well, just look at how much light we've got going down range. And yeah, we're lighting up a lot close as well, but we can light that small tree up and look, that big tree, that's got to be 200 yards from here, I should think. Maybe 180, but definitely no less. Uh, might be slightly more. Um, absolutely no trouble to that distance at all. But we've got a party trick yet. Yeah. This thing's got a turbo mode on it. So, assuming I can find the on switch again. If I give this thing a double tap, we should go up into a turbo mode. And it's like, that would easily do well over 200 yards. Um, you know, we've got a tree line that kind of disappears off down there. You can see we're still lighting stuff up, but you know, if this isn't a thrower, I'm not really sure what is. Um, Astrolux or Banggood rate this at 4,300 lumens on turbo and 133,000 CD. Remember that mag light was only 16,000. Um, my home setup uh, in my light box, I got 4,322 lumens and I got 129,900 CD. Um, I can't vouch that my figures are accurate, but it seems to be bang on the money to me. Um, you know, and with this battery in here, this will sort of run quite high output for quite a long time. You know, it's a big torch, we've got quite a bit of mass there, you know, we're pulling quite a lot of amps. Um, but it's just really nice, you know, and we can ramp this thing up and down. So, you know, if we needed a bit of light just to see up close, um, ramping let's go all the way down to the lowest setting so we've got a proper little moonlight should you need it um this type of light i don't think you really would but it does give you that versatility and then you just crank it up and you come outside a little flicker at the top tells you at the top of the ramping mode and this will hold the high output which i think is somewhere between 1300 and 2000 lumens still it's quite high output just on the high mode um, and it will, it will hold that pretty pretty stable for quite a while out and about and I say if you just need that bit extra give it a double tap sometimes this UI doesn't always respond yeah turbo um, you know and you've got that extra distance uh, now this will ramp down you know it's starting to ramp down after sort of 30 seconds a bit but really it holds the output not bad it's quite usable it's not not like some of these you know 10 second wonder lights uh, you know put out a huge amount of lumens and then dim right down to sort of one tenth for their output um, this thing is it's, it's pretty decent um, you know it's like a pocket searchlight really um, maybe not precision tool you know if you're around other people obviously this much light um, might irritate people um, and that's perhaps where a, you know a true sort of dedicated thrower with a very narrow pencil beam and very dull spill beam might come into play. You, you know, you can aim them at um, smaller targets and have a lot less sort of uh, fallout either side in terms of spill beam. Um, but no, this is this is a a good light, and you know, in my book, it counts as a thrower. Um, I've only got a few lights that actually um, have higher CD values than this, um, and you know, as you can see where we are now. We haven't got anything any further away than what I'm shining it at to actually light up anyhow. So, yeah. Um, also, these are really good price. I mean, I got this one on a sale, I think, or it might have been with a voucher off of one of the forums. It was like 30 quid delivered with a battery. Um, can't beat it. 